What's up everybody? If you're thinking about buying a house in Maryland, this is the video for you. I'm gonna go through my top five things you really need to know. And there's an excellent chance this is gonna save you a lot of money. So let's just dive right in. If you're new to my channel, I am committed to putting out weekly videos all about Maryland and DC. Neighborhood tours, pros and cons, things you need to know, fun facts. So if this is of interest to you, you may wanna subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified when new videos come out. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about with Maryland is that it's a wet state. So a wet state is not about the weather, it's about the closings. In Maryland, we do everything at the closing table. The sellers bring the keys, the buyer brings the money, the lender has already wired the money, and everything gets signed and exchanged right at the table at settlement. It's also important that you understand that in Maryland, we don't really use lawyers. I mean, lawyers have written the templates for the contracts, but the realtors are the one that fill them in and submit the contracts and negotiate the contracts. Now there is a lawyer at the settlement company that will represent the contract, not the buyer or the seller, but they will follow whatever the contract says. So that is the only lawyer that is really traditionally used in Maryland. Don't get me wrong. If you want to have a lawyer, of course you can have one. It's just not the culture here in Maryland. So it's important that you understand that. Now here's a really great way that you can save a lot of money. And I want to emphasize that this is not just done for you. The settlement company isn't going to offer this. You have to ask for this, or more specifically, your realtor has to ask for this. So hopefully you have a good one, or if not, you tell her or him about what I'm telling you and they will ask for it. This is called the reissue rate for title insurance. So in Maryland, like I think in most states, when you buy a house, you gotta get title insurance. There's a lender's policy and the owner's policy. The lender's policy is required, obviously, if you're getting a loan. And the owner's policy isn't required, but I would say 99.999% of the time, I'm gonna highly recommend it, unless it's brand new construction and you know nothing's ever been built on that land before. Because title insurance can really save you and a lot of times when issues come up. Title insurance is one of the big ticket items that you're gonna pay at closing. So this is a great way to save money. How you get that reissue rate is that you need to get a copy of the seller's title insurance policy. If you can get a copy of that, you give it to the settlement company, and then rather than charging you for a brand new title insurance policy, they're only gonna charge you the reissue rate, which can save you thousands of dollars. It depends on how much the seller bought the house for, will tell you how much money you're gonna save. So if the seller has lived there for 50 years and they bought it for you know $100,000 and now you're buying it for a million, it's not even worth asking. But if the seller either bought it recently or they bought it at a high market and the price isn't that different, it's gonna save you money. But I have to repeat this, they're not gonna voluntarily give it to you. I've been involved in many transactions where nobody's ever asked, so I'm not gonna bother my seller to get it because it is a courtesy, it's not required. So you have to ask for it, and it's really important you ask for it early in the transaction because they may need time to find it. If the seller can't find a copy of their title insurance policy, but they know where they closed on their house, it's possible for your realtor and the settlement company to do a little investigating and digging and come up with a copy of that policy. This is important stuff because it can save you money without having to do anything or cost anyone else some money. And just to let you know what your closing costs will be as a buyer when you buy a house in Maryland, it's about two and a half to three percent of the purchase price. This could be a little more if you have mortgage insurance and it'll be less if you're buying cash. So in general, if you have a loan, it's gonna be about two and a half to three percent. This doesn't include your down payment and people get a little confused between down payment and EMD or earnest money deposit. Your down payment is the amount you're putting down that's not part of your loan. So you're putting 20% down, 80% your loan, the 20% is your down payment. The EMD, or earnest money deposit, is the money you're gonna give the seller at the very beginning of the transaction with your contract that's a good faith deposit that will just be seen as a credit on your closing statements. Part of that two and a half to three percent of your closing costs, the other big ticket number, is your transfer and recordation taxes. You're gonna have to pay the Maryland ones and the county ones. But as a first time home buyer in the state of Maryland, they will give you the break, the only time they're gonna give you a break, and you don't have to pay the state transfer tax. This you don't have to ask for, you just have to make sure you notify them that you're a first time Maryland home buyer, which it will say in the contract, and it'll automatically be deducted for you. And just as side note, what is not included in that two and a half to 3% are your appraisal, that'll be paid outside of closing, 
and all of your inspections. Those will also be paid directly to the inspectors. As I've mentioned in previous videos about Maryland, we really go by counties here, not so much by cities. But when you're buying a house here in Maryland, there are additional taxes depending on what county you live in and also what city you live in. So it's important when you buy a house here that you ask your realtor, are there additional taxes that I need to be aware of depending on where you're buying that house? And while you're asking about the different taxes of the place you're buying, also about, ask about the culture. Because here in Maryland, we're a very diverse state depending on where you live. And there are different rules, regulations, restrictions about everything depending on which county you live in Maryland. Where I am right now, Montgomery County, we tend to align a lot with Washington, D.C. But if you bought in an Arundel County or a different county, you may have completely different rules, regulations, and cultures. So make sure you're just connected with a local realtor so they can explain to you everything you need to know about when you're moving to Maryland. And finally, as a realtor here in Maryland, one of the biggest questions I get asked is about the schools because we are really known for our public schools. According to US News and World Report in 2021, Maryland is ranked number three out of all 50 states for their public high schools. So there are two websites you can look at to see the different ratings. There's greatschools.org and niche.com. In my opinion, the greatschools.org, they, they, their rankings are lower than they should be. And in niche.com, they seem to be a little higher than they should be. So what I suggest to my clients is if you really want to know the 411, is to go on our local Facebook groups for the different areas that you're buying in. Ask all the questions and I promise you, those people on the Facebook groups, they're gonna tell you the truth. As realtors, we just can't talk about the schools. We're gonna send you to websites, but if you go to the Facebook groups, you're definitely gonna get everything you need to know. I hope this information was helpful to you if you're thinking about buying in Maryland. If you have any questions about anything I spoke about or anything to do with Maryland or DC, call, email, text, my team and I, we would love to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please tell your friends and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.